That's Georgia GOP Senator David Perdue. We want to bring him in now. Senator, thanks for joining us. We want to talk to you about the $2,000 checks. But first, if I could get your reaction to, we've just learned this morning that President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris are making trips down to Georgia. Harris on Sunday, Biden on Monday to campaign against you. Well, we'd like him to come on down. I think he had 75 people in the last time he was here. Um, look, this is a, a race to the finish here. We know that. Um, we're the last line of defense against this radical socialist agenda that they are uh, trying to perpetrate on America. And uh, they haven't talked a lot about that lately. But in the presidential election, that's what you heard about. You hear people like AOC uh, threatening the leadership of the Democratic Party, Biden, uh, Schumer, and Pelosi, to not back up from what they've committed to them in terms of what they're going to implement in the Biden administration relative to this socialist agenda. So, look, uh, President Trump is coming down Monday night. Uh, I understand the Vice President uh, Pence may be coming down on Sunday. We've got other members of the first family coming. Uh, it's all hands on deck here. We're on a 125-stop bus tour ourselves, uh, going all over the state. In fact, we have our 100th stop tonight in uh, Hey, um, Hiawassee, Georgia, and uh, we're going to make a big deal about that. But we're running through the tape on this one, guys. I just want to follow up on that, Senator, with one more question. That is, are you concerned about the Biden-Harris visit? Because when Biden made the choice to come in the waning week, the final days of the campaign, it seems to have possibly had an impact on the election outcome there in the presidential race. Well, I don't really think it did, actually. Um, honestly, uh, we won that race by two points in my race. In fact, uh, over 52.5% of Georgians rejected my opponent, John Ossoff, and this Democratic agenda in November. Uh, we're in this runoff only because we missed the 50% uh, rule by a few thousand votes. Um, we know there are some questions about the November election, but we're telling people, if you're upset about November, get out and vote. Today is the last day of early voting and so we're just encouraging everybody on our side that uh, what's at stake and what their responsibility is and they're responding greatly I think. Uh, Senator, I want to ask you about what Mitch McConnell has announced. He's using this so-called Rule 14 and, and trying to couple together some other issues. Is that convoluting the message? Are Democrats taking advantage of that and, and trying to exploit it? Or how do you read that and what are you telling the people in Georgia how you're going to vote and what you support. First of all, I applaud the president for signing this latest round of COVID relief. The Democrats themselves held this up for months. And so here in the last minute, they, uh, they're complaining about uh, the normal operation of the Senate. Uh, I'm an outsider of this process, but I can tell you the three things that Mitch McConnell is trying to do are in line with what the president has said. I support what the president is trying to do relative to the, the 230 uh, clause, the repeal of that, also the $2,000 uh, stimulus checks. We're in full support of that. I think this is the right thing to do. The Democrats are crying foul, and it's so hypocritical because what they're, they, uh, you know, are trying to do again in the 11th hour of an important race is to play politics again. They did it in the presidential race, and we see them doing it again in this uh, uh, these two Senate races. Kelly Leffler and I are going to do everything we can to make sure that we hold the line here in Georgia. And this is just one more step the president really wants to do before uh, we get through this uh, uh, Congress. Senator, nearly a third of voters have already cast early ballots in Georgia. What does that tell you about your chances um, in, in this election and, and also about Senator Loeffler's? Rachel, I, I like our chances right now. Uh, it's like when I ran in 14 and we were down 8 to 10 points in the polls back then. We won by 8. I kept telling my team because we were out in the state running around meeting people, talking to real people about wh what they were thinking and what they were doing. And I have that same feeling right now. It's coming to us. We're winning this race right now. Kelly and I are all over this state. We're running against two of the most liberal candidates that Democrats have ever put up. One has a China scandal that's right in line with Swalwell and Hunter Biden. The other guy has abused his pulpit responsibilities and called the uh, police thugs. And, uh, and, you know, it's just a, these are two extremely radical uh, candidates that will be nothing but rubber stamps for this radical socialist agenda that Chuck Schumer has uh, promised us. Senator, has your race been made more difficult by President Trump's constant criticism and browbeating of your governor uh, and Secretary of State? Absolutely not. I, I think that what the president's doing is exercising his right. There are 
uh, uh, you know, implied uh, inaccuracies in the count down here and the way this uh, election was done. Look, we went from 5% absentee ballots to over 30% absentee ballots in November. And we know there are potentially some improprieties there, and the president has done nothing but asking uh, for uh, some uh, questions to be answered. That's what we've been doing. We've been to the courts and tried to do that. But my total focus, and I think the president as well, right now in these closing days of this runoff election here in Georgia where the future of the country really is at stake. The eyes of the country are watching these two races very carefully and President Trump knows what's at stake. He's coming Monday night to rally the troops to make sure on election day we get every single Republican voter out. If we do that, we win. We got two and a half million votes. Again, we beat our opponent by over two points, this la almost two points this last time. In every other state but one, I would already have been reelected. We'd be talking about Kelly and Leftmore alone today. Well, uh, Senator, voter integrity is key to everybody's mind, and, and there in Georgia, there were people that registered with the post office saying that they were moving out of the state. There were thousands of them. That goes to the court. Stacey Abrams' sister is a judge and rules against this voter purge right before the Senate runoffs. How is that affecting things in Georgia? Well, this is just one more example of uh, Stacey Abrams' false claim of voter suppression here in Georgia. We have automatic voter registration here. The fact that the federal government encourages states to, uh, to clean uh, voter rolls every now and then because of deceased uh, voters, people moving out of state, and so forth. Every state does that. And this is what they're complaining about. That judge should have recused herself, honestly, because she's related to Stacey Abrams, who's become a national figure talking about voter suppression incorrectly. So this is just another ploy of the Democrats to confuse the issues, and that is to hide this radical socialist agenda where they want to change the balance of power in Washington, go to a one-party system, and execute these socialist agenda items that are so draconian. You know, they really want to defund the police, open the borders. They want illegal immigrants to vote. They want to socialize our medicine, cut our military again, and give us this Green New Deal and cost every single American family $65,000 to fund this Green New Deal. This is insanity, and they're not talking about that. And this is just another way of confusing the issue. And Stacey Abrams now is concerned about this race, and so she's raising that voter suppression issue again improperly, I think. And we're going to prove that on Tuesday. Well, Tuesday is just around the corner. Um, just a few days le left on this race. We wish you luck. Um, uh, happy New Year to you, and thanks for joining us on.